فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في الثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير How do I know that what I'm going through right now is a result of my sin or it's just an ordinary test as a result of elevation of status. There is one main way of telling. When you are a believer who is concerned to obey Allah and to please Allah, you accept whatever comes in your direction with pleasure. That's what happens. You are not depressed about it. If you suffered, your home was taken away from you, you were evicted, you're on the road, you don't have food, you still find on your tongue, Alhamdulillah. Oh Allah, I'm in a much better condition than others. So you are not depressed about it to the degree that you become a failure in every way, especially mentally. You lose everything and you have such depression that you begin to question Allah. In that case, perhaps it may be the result of something you've done that you were not supposed to do or something you did not do that you were supposed to do. But Allah says, when we catch you, we will not let go. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not let that happen to us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us even in the Quran and in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he gives us time. He gives us time up to what is known as ajal. Ajal means prescribed time. You want to commit mischief, Allah says you will taste the effect of that mischief. But when we decide to punish you seriously, then that would be the prescribed time of the end. When the fixed time of Allah comes, it's not going to be delayed. And obviously death is something that is never delayed.